what's up what's good what's going on family so i want to jump in and see what's going on for my lovely sagittarians okay so i'm just going to pull the situation see what's going on and see how i can offer you some guidance and clarity on that okay through the messages of my spirit team so this is going to be for your Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house placement, okay? But even with that being said, these are general messages, so just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? Definitely want you to know, I feel like that we're going to get through some sort of illumination here. So let's see, Spirit, what's going on? Thank you. So we've got something to do with the drinking, a toxic lifestyle. Uh, what's going on with this toxic lifestyle, Spirit? What's going on? Um, someone's losing sleep over this. Someone's replaying events over and over in their head from maybe they, this is someone that had a toxic lifestyle and they're over replaying. This could be your twin flame. Um, this person's under a lot of, a lot of pressure right now. This person could be mir uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're acting unbothered or if you're unbothered, this person is projecting to you that they're unbothered as well. However, this person is losing sleep right now. Um, this person could be drinking a lot to not think about you or to not, or to prevent themselves from replaying the conversation over and over in their head, or this could be you, Sag. What's going on here, Spirit? Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> so it could definitely be a jackass. Someone definitely feels like a jackass for the way that things took place between you all in the past. Okay. Yes. Uh, jackass. Closing the cycles. Closing the cycle. Maybe you're realizing that someone was a clown. You kept giving this clown chance after chance after chance. Now you finally get to a place of closing that cycle out. But I also feel like that this person is really replaying the past events. You know what I'm saying? And realizing how much of a jackass that they are. And then they're realizing that, you know, they're wondering, is this cycle closed out? I definitely have a situation where someone is thinking about you. Sagittarius, you cannot be thinking about you. Okay. This person will be sending some sort of message your way. See, yeah, this person is drinking a lot to cope. Right now, this person is drinking a lot to cope and to not have you in their forefront of their mind so much, Sag, for sure. Give me one second. All right, Sag, but I definitely feel like that this person is drinking to cope with you. But there's something about messages here. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's keep going. Hmm. <laughs> Spirit said, now you can go on and stop right there. <laughs> Spirit said, now you can go on and stop right there. Mm, mm, mm. I want to know the event that this person is re replaying over and over in their head. Hmm. Let's see what's going on with this person, spirit. Spirit. Hmm. Lack of financial security or freedom. A lack of financial security or a lack of financial freedom. Debt, superficial, bad investment, cheating, failure. Ooh, this person didn't get caught cheating, huh? And now that they didn't get caught up in that situation... Somebody's thinking about how something was a bad investment. Show me the toxic lifestyle. Y'all, if y'all still rocking with me at 4.15 in, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below. Someone's birthday could be April the 15th. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But guys, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below. It does help circulate these messages out to other Sagittarians in need. Yeah, someone's toxic lifestyle is coming to light. Period. That's on. Yeah. Ooh. And when it comes to light, it brings something to an end in that person's life. A harsh ending. A ten of swords ending. Some type. Somebody's toxic lifestyle is revealing a ten of swords. 
And now this person is feeling trapped. Like this person is feeling hopeless and, hopeless and judged behind that. Someone's toxic lifestyle is coming to light. What's what's going on with toxic lifestyle and the moon in the reverse? The ooh, did that get somebody pregnant? What's coming to light? Someone's toxic lifestyle is coming to light. What's coming to light? The Empress. So there is either a Libra and or Taurus in their life that is coming to light. Okay. Either there's something about their mother is coming to light. But I don't know how that would be a toxic lifestyle for them. Or this is this is the child's mother. Like either someone got what's coming to light is someone's toxic lifestyle got them someone like they got someone pregnant due to drinking and stuff like that or whatever the case. Something is coming to light, and something about whatever's coming to light has them replaying. It's like whatever's coming to light is almost like the same. Like it had it's similar to the storyline that you and this person have. And they feel like a jackass. It's almost like they're clear. It's almost like it's clear that whatever it is that they're experiencing right now is direct karma for the way that they treated you. What's losing sleep? Worried, replaying events, thinking about you. Why is this two of wands? Thinking about you, the two of wands in the reverse, an opportunity may have been missed. This person this person is thinking about you and really viewing you as a mischance. This person is viewing you as a mischance right now. Give me one second, y'all. But uh, they, I do. I feel like that this person is worried that they may have missed a chance with you, Sag. Um, I do. I've, it, but there's also this. It, this person is having a hard time letting you go. They are. They're, whatever is taking place, this person does feel like a jackass. They do feel like the, like they worry if they've been able to, if they've missed a chance with you. Yeah. This person is hopeless. This person is hopeless. They they feel like, like moving away from a, like, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing, Sag. Here's the thing. Yes, we're in Mercury and retrograde. So I wouldn't advise you to necessarily take something back, okay? But I don't think that you're meant to slam the door on something either. But what I do want you to know is I do feel like that something, somebody from your past, their toxic life is being exposed. It's something about their toxic lifestyle is coming to light. Y'all see me. I asked what that was. We got the Empress card, okay? So this could have to do, like I said, this could have to do with them having a child. Um, like having a child during some sort of drunken sex. Um, this could have to do with something coming to light about their mothers. You know what I'm saying? Their mother. Like something about them is coming to light to their mother. I don't know. I don't know, or about their mother. Take it as it resonates. Or this could be a Libra and or a Taurus in their life. And something is being revealed about this person or about your person to this Libra and or Taurus. Whatever is going on in that situation directly has them thinking about the relationship that they had with Sagittarius. And they are replaying that relationship with Sagittarius over and over. And they're wondering, and they're worried, not wondering, they're worried that they have missed a chance with Sagittarius. So it's like, damn, do I stay here and try to fix this or should I come towards Sagittarius? That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Yes, there's so and because of that, there's for there's delays in slow move. There's delays in slow movements. Delay progress is happening here. This person is like there's this energy of this person trying to see like is it is it all bad? Like is it all? Like, I don't know. There's something. 
I don't know. Let's see. Jackass. Can you clarify why Jackass is here? Y'all don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Five of Pentacles. This person is like... With this star card. This person is feeling left out in the cold. Like, I, I, if I'm being honest with you, there's something more spiritual about your connection. So the fact that you, you have closed this out, this person feels like they're in a spiritual hardship as well. And I'm going to tell you right now, the cards haven't come out. I haven't asked for Sagittarius' advice yet. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here and giving little bits and pieces of advice. But I'm actually going to pull an advice card for you, okay? But I can almost positively tell you that you're not the one that's being told to reach out, okay? But let's just see. Because love messages is here, meaning that some messages are coming your way. Now, on how you choose to respond to those, that's where your growth is on your growth is being tested that's where it's at okay not in trying to get this person to come your way i don't know why i felt the need to preach that but this person does feel like a jackass they do feel like that they're between a rock and a hard place they do feel left out in the code okay they do feel left out and they feel stupid for that because they realize that there was something that was that I don't know. I, there's something about the connection that they had with Sage that was like, damn, the feeling that I feel right now. At least I would have been warm with Sage. You know what I'm saying? There's something like that. Can you clarify why the Five of Pentacles is here with Jackass, the King of Wands? Yeah, I just, this card right here, I automatically got drew, drawn into this open-mindedness. There's something about it. I'm telling you, there's something, some, something. There's something about it that somebody is like, damn, I knew better. Someone, I don't feel like someone wants to come in out of the code. There's something that this person truly did manifest in. And now this person is wondering, and that's why they're replaying and thinking about Sag. It says, worried, replaying events, thinking about you. That's what this card says. And the Eight of Swords is replaying events over and over in your head, okay? That's what this person is doing because they feel like that they have missed a chance. Now, there's something about this person's, like this person's dominance played a role into it. Like, it's like this person. Uh, their, this person's need for authority has them not really going for it's like their need for authority has them not attaining the happiness that they truly desire and that's really on offer for them and they know this let's look for love messages why is love messages here The chariot in the reverse. I feel like some message might have got misconstrued, lost in the uh, Montana uh, Montanomy. Either way it goes, something didn't get interpreted the right way. Someone was trying to be. Uh, coy someone was trying to be coy in a message and it didn't get perceived the right way show me what's the chariot in the reverse the ace of wands see and also I want to let you know, this okay so the queen of wands oh my god okay so the passion between the and both of these are in the upright. So as far as like passionately, the two of you are 
all are an energetic match without a doubt without a doubt the two of you all are an energetic match um i feel like that uh there's something about y'all's passion in y'all's um creativity and your desire to just be free something about that energy matches when the king and the queen of wands is on the board as the only court cards baby when them two couple when them two people come together you know when they in the room you know when they are arriving matter of fact how about that you know when the king and the queen of wands has arrived you be like oh shit they here you know what i'm saying so as far as that energy like that's real that's real that's real who can i tell you something Can I tell you something? This person... Okay, so while this person possibly has someone drunk, I feel like that if if this if if this person could um, address some things, and this could be for you, Sagittarius. It does not... Like, just take this as it resonates. If this person could level up and take some accountability, when the two of you all merge and connect in high vibration... You all elevate into emperor, empress energy, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I want you to know that. However, what I will say to you, there's something about this person's authority. Okay, so... There's something about this person's authority that keeps them from doing what their heart desires. Their heart desires Sagittarius. That's where they that's where their heart desires. There's something in their authority. There's something in their in the leadership that was helped that was put in them. Something about that. That whether this be from their mother, their father, whatever. It stops them from going after their heart's desires. And that's concerning. And that's why this person is drinking. Like this person drinks a lot. And it's not just like every time this person drinking. No, it's not because Sagittarius is on their mind. But I guarantee you. This person is. This person drinks the most. When they're not able. Yes. When they're not able to express themselves. When their heart is repressing its true desires that's when this person drinks the most and it's actually pushing this person into a very toxic lifestyle and that toxic lifestyle is coming to light let's look at the coke why is coke here the king of pentacles okay and the magician for some of you all i'm telling you this person this person is coping. This person is drinking to get through. This person is trying to hold up an authoritative position. This person is trying to uphold an image. Okay. This person has a major responsibility or a major image. This could, for some of you all, um, this person is married. And in order to cope with that marriage, they do they they do drink a lot you know what i'm saying um be, and, and they do that because there's something an aptitude resulting in failure or loss so what is the what is the word what does that ineptitude mean let's learn together uh, something is inevitable is what i'm feeling though ineptitude here's the definition of ineptitude lack of skill or ability so like this person is like coping, covering up, like drinking a lot to cover up their ability to achieve long term goals here because something possibly that they put a lot of investment into is not coming to fruition. This is corruption and mismanagement. So um, someone is coping, like someone is drinking toxic lifestyle to cope with. Uh, someone made an unpoor decision and they're coping with it through alcohol. 
for sure, through drinking. And, and if they're married, they're not, that marriage is not, it, it's not stable. It's not stable. So what's Sagittarius's advice? Spirit said before you do that. Subconscious thoughts from this person as it pertains to Sagittarius. Because I don't know why this came up, honey. I was hoping for a shorter message, to be honest, but we'll take it. Um, the cards that actually came out on the table, we do have the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Um, the King of Pentacles, that is... Um, Taurus Aries energy. We also have the King of Wands. That's Leo Cancer energy. Um, the Magician is Gemini. And then Libra Taurus here with the Empress. Oh, we also have Cancer. What is this person's um, love message that they're not communicating towards Sagittarius spirit? Thank you. So it says, this isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> Conflicting thoughts? I would say so. Because we also have, we need to let each other go. That's This person is definitely of two minds. Show me what is causing this person to be of these two minds. Show me the blind spot between, this isn't over between us. I'm coming back for us. And then we need to let each other go. Show me the blind spot for that really quick. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit said that's not the blind spot. Those, These are the messages that I need to hear. Show me the blind spot for this isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. We need to let each other go. What is the blind spot between here? Why is this person of two minds? The timing just wasn't right for us. You speak to me through music. And wow, this person is saying, you were the best thing in my life. You don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. I love you unconditionally. You came closer than anyone, my God. So it says, I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking to me now? Please forgive me. I know I messed up. And then it says, no matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. And we know that's the truth. With the Eight of Swords, the losing sleep, and then this card, Sagittarius, this person is heavily thinking about you. Mm, what's Sagittarius' advice as it pertains to this person? Spirit is also telling me to pull Sagittarius to self-care. So I will. What is uh, the advice for Sagittarius that is resonating with this reading? We have the Six of Cups. The Page of Wands. That's that message. Let's see. Why are Six of Cups for the advice? The Three of Wands. This is really telling me to expect the arrival of something from your past. Why is that coming out? And I... Okay, this is not going to be for everyone. This is not everyone's message, guys. It's not. A few minutes ago, we seen Twin Flame. Rewind it. We seen Twin, twin Flame when we seen um, drinking or losing sleep. One of the two. There was Twin Flame at the bottom of the deck. This is, for in, this is only for you if you feel like you are on the Twin Flame journey. And if this is most definitely your storyline. Because what this the advice is to... Um, really switch your like you got to take a different look at the past because the, the the bottom line is you're being advised to expect the past to return it is offering my heat's turning on it's offering something bright it is going to shed light on something that has been dark 
like some like once this arrives you're gonna be able to reap the rewards from seeds that have been planted in the past you know what i'm saying you haven't been able to see the fruits of your of your of your labor you've been pushing forward you've been resilient at something even though you've been left out in the cold but you still kept going and because of that there's this leo like energy that you're stepping into you're stepping into your strength and it's bringing you in stability and it's your justice so it's your justice so it's your justice. <laughs> Just take this as it resonates. This is not everyone's storyline. But the advice is to expect the return of the past. It does have light to shed so that you can reap the rewards for seeds that you have already planted and that you can you continue to take care of and nourish, even though it seemed like you never could reap the rewards of your work. Y'all can deny y'all spirit team. I won't deny mine. It says recognition. Now, the reason why that's so y'all seen that leap of faith. It is Look, the reason why recognition is something so significant, and it says admiration for your hard work is coming. It is. And this in 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 it it is requiring you to take a leap of faith, taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. Boundaries, know when to put them up. When to put up and let down your walls. So there's a need to set some boundaries. And then there is a need to let someone in. Because someone's toxic lifestyle coming to light. It could be the very thing that this person needs to recognize that you are the real empress. And they feel like a jackass. Because maybe they try to play you off as like the other woman. When in all actuality the two of you all are truly an energetic match. Take that as it resonates, my love. That's what I got for you. And I'm going to leave it right here. I absolutely love you. If this was your message, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Don't forget, we are running those specials. Um, they do end December the 21st, where you can get 20 minutes for $20 or you can get uh, 40 minutes for $30. Love you all.